And for anybody wondering, that's the Sherwood Bridge. That's a single-age bridge right below Delhi after Price Chopper. None of this is ever private property that I fish. Well, I can't say none of it. I do have some lakes that I fish every now and then that are private, but anytime you see me in the river, it's always public property. It's always easy access. But what I'm doing here, I've got my, I know it's upside down, fix that. It's my Corton Competition Nymph, 10 and a half foot, three weight. It's got a fighting butt onto it because you need it when you tangle with a big fish. You stick that thing right to your forearm. And then the Shadow Gladiator Fly Reel. These are uh, kind of a local company. They're from the western part of Pennsylvania. I've got four or five of their reels. They're absolutely awesome. I highly recommend them and their line is very decent as well. I've got that coupled with, this is a Rio Euro Nymphing Indicator line. It's got a butt section, I think it's like eight feet of nylon that you hook right to your fly line. And then it's got that cider material. That's what I'm watching. On the end of that, is a tippet ring that I tie on my six, eight foot of 5X tippet to my top fly, which as you can see, they've trashed this. This is my second day using this pheasant tail. I'm surprised it's lasted this long. And then after that, about a foot is my point fly, which is a heavier fly. And this, this one's a uh, pheasant tail. I've tied these both myself. They've got tungsten bead heads onto them. I wrap tungsten wire and then copper around the outside because when you're euro nymphing or check nymphing, tight line nymphing, whichever you want to call it, you always want to get to the bottom as fast as you can and you want to try to remain in contact with the bottom. So, nothing fancy in the rig. You don't even need the indicator. The, if you want to use a, uh, a strike indicator, a bobber, whatever you want to call it, that's easy enough to do. And then I know if you've watched any of the video so far, you can see what I'm doing. I'm keeping the line at a 45 degree angle or so, depending on the, how fast the water is. And you are keeping contact with those nymphs as they're bouncing along the bottom. And then you're just watching, watching, watching. If it does anything out of the ordinary, you set the hook. There wasn't anything there, I just wanted to finish what I was saying. But he always cast upstream. 45 it down. Always want to keep it as tight as you can. Sometimes it's a little difficult because this is a deeper hole right there. And that's what you get. So that's kind of cool. I was actually talking and helping, I hope helping at least, and I hooked into a fish and this feels like a good one. seen what it is fighting like a trout and you can see what I was talking about see the flex in that rod that three weight that's what helps those lighter tippets so they don't break off onto a fish like this but if the water's stained I mean you can up your tippet size to whatever you need to this is a big fish ladies and gents It's either a decent sized bass or we got a good trout. There we go. Had to loosen the drag up a little bit. I haven't seen it yet, but the way it keeps headed back to the current, it's a trout. Gotta be. You see how I got that fighting butt just pegged right in my forearm? Now with these light tippets, you cannot horse these fish. You have to let them tire. I've lost a lot of fish tiring them out, but if you work them too hard, 
all you're going to be doing is snapping tippets and losing flies. Always be prepared to get on the reel, because if they come at you, you do not want that line to go slack. Definitely a trout. Bass would have given up by now. One thing I always have a bad habit of is keeping my rod tip high. You want to keep your rod low and off to the side and then use the whole rod to get its head turned. I don't really know which way to go here. I can't tell if it's deeper in front of me or because this is a big fish. This is a very big fish. It is, it might be, oh, oh, I see him flash. It's a carp. Oh, beta. That's not a carp. I hope I land this. This is going to be the biggest trout of the year, I think. If not, a personal best for me. <clears throat> and this is a public water, public pool. When I get done with it, if I land it, it's going to go right back in. So somebody else can have this kind of a rush. I think he's tiring. I think, but I can't tell. I've seen him. This is the part where you don't want to get antsy excited and horse it. I've lost more trout at this point in time. And of course, that's to tell me to get my ass out of bed. Well, you see where I'm at. Okay. Yeah, he's tiring, he's trying to bulldog his way to the bottom. <laughs> no pun intended. Delhi Bulldogs. Holy crap, guys. This is a monster brown. My arm is burning. Come on, guy, give up. Give up, I wanna show everybody at home what you are. I think I foul hooked it. I can't tell by the way he's fighting, but I think I did, I think I foul hooked him. That could be why he's putting on such a fight here. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, I did, I foul hooked him. So he, he's a big fish, but he might not be as big as I had originally thought. Probably what happened is he was trying to eat the top fly and when I set the hook the point fly got him there we go there we go oh 
Whew, my arm is burning. Either way, that is a big, big brown. Okay, come on, 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 come Give him head. Give him his head, not give him head. That's kind of nasty. Oh. Oh my God, my shoulder's on fire. I have landed carp faster than this. <sighs> Come on, guy. I don't want to stress you out too much. Oh. <sighs> Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, pardon the French. Holy crap. right in the anal fin. I bet you that's what happened. Okay. Cooperate with me and I'll make this nice and quick. Look at that. Excuse me. Make sure I got the inches side. Well, with a curved tail, he's pushing 21, so I'm gonna say 22 inches. That is my personal best brown trout, guys and girls. On a three weight, on a fly that I tied. So, this is almost a euphoric moment for me because this is absolutely amazing. And for those of you wondering what I'm doing, that is a decoy mount for my GoPro that I use while I'm turkey hunting. It's got a, oh, well, there he goes. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm not getting a picture of him in front of me. That's too bad. I just hope that he, uh, had rested long enough. Well, for those of you that haven't checked Nymph, I highly recommend it. Hey, Slime Donkey, UPB'd, IPB'd.